Hey boys and girls, I'm Rhino and I'm here with an important public service announcement. The difference in caffeine content between coffee and espresso. Yeah, a lot of y'all get it wrong, backwards in fact, so I am here to set the record straight. There I was standing in a coffee shop, end of the day, a couple people in front of me and they wanted to order coffee, but the shop was about to close and they said, well, we can't brew a whole pot but would you like an Americano? And they said, no thanks. We don't want that much caffeine. All right, so here's the situation. <gasps> Espresso has less caffeine than coffee in the drinks that you make because an eight ounce cup of coffee has 150 milligrams of caffeine, which is the same as two shots of espresso. But most habitual drinkers will have an espresso drink with two shots, but they're not gonna drink eight ounces of coffee. You usually drink 16 ounces of coffee. You'll have two, three, four cups easily. But point being, if you're having a 16 ounce cup of coffee, that's 300 milligrams, which is twice as much as the espresso drink, because it's unlikely that you're having four shots of espresso. If you are having four shots of espresso, then it is 300 milligrams, which is the same as a 16 ounce cup of coffee. But at that point, you're just having more and more caffeine because our body gets used to caffeine. And so then we start having more caffeine because the caffeine doesn't affect us nearly as much. Which is why sometimes if you wean yourself off of caffeine for a while and then get back to it, it would have a more powerful effect with less caffeine intake. Now, it can vary a lot. It's not always 150 milligrams for eight ounces of coffee because it depends on how youthful the plant was, how the plant was, beans were roasted, um, how much water was used, how it was brewed, how long it was brewed, how fine the grounds were. I mean, that's a lot of variables. But think of it this way, if it's really fine grounds, then the water can get to more points of the grounds. If it's coarser, it can't quite reach as many points, so it can't seep out as much caffeine. Nevertheless, there is a finite amount of caffeine. Caffeine is not an infinite amount. Now, you could also check out my video on the caffeine content of tea. And that has a lot to do with the youthfulness of the plant. I explain it in great detail and make a kick-ass Arnold Palmer. And at some point, my little espresso machine is coming and we are going to make some espresso drinks. Yay! So, thanks for watching the show. Please subscribe. If you have recipe requests, send them my way. I have a whole bunch of plans. We're gonna expand the show like Oprah. It'll be great. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and stay informed. Mm-hmm.